we're going to be looking at how to calculate missing dimensions of cylinders in this video. So we're going to be given the volume and be telling you what the volume is, and you'll have to work backwards to either figure out what the radius is or what the height is of the cylinder. The first thing that's really important that we know, we have to know the formula. We have to know that the volume of a cylinder is the area of the base times the height, more specifically pi r squared times height. If we don't know that formula, these questions are going to be for basically impossible for us to solve. Okay, so let's read the first problem. As the volume of a cylinder is 94 centimeters cubed, if the radius of the cylinder is 2.5 centimeters, what is the height? So I know three pieces of my equation. I know volume, I'm given a radius, so I'm given r, and I also know pi. I obviously know that pi is 3.14. I do not know what the height is. So I'm going to use my formula to figure out what the height of this, or I'm sorry, what the height of the cylinder is. Let's fill in everything that we know. I know the volume of the cylinder is 94. I know that pi is 3.14. I know the radius in this case is 2.5. So the formula says that I have the radius squared. I don't know the height. And now I just need to treat this like an equation and solve for h. So the first thing that I'm going to do is work on the right side of my equation, simplifying it, combining it as much as I can. So I'm going to square 2.5. That's going to give me 6.25. Okay, and now I can combine my 3.14 and my 6.25. I'm going to multiply those. Again, remember, I'm just treating this as if it were just an equation, a normal equation. 3.14 times 6.25 would give me 19.6. And the last step is to divide out the coefficient of the variable. So I'm going to divide by 19.6. And my final answer is going to be whatever 94 divided by 19.6 is, which in this case would give me a height of 4.8 centimeters. If I look at the next example, it's very similar. I know three out of the four variables in my equation. I know volume, says the volume of the cylinder is 750 inches. If the height of the cylinder is nine inches, so I know H, says then what is the radius? And then obviously I know that pi is 3.14. So let's do the same thing. Fill in what we know. I know that the volume is 750. I know pi is 3.14. I do not know what R is this time, so I'm gonna leave R as just R squared. But I do know that the height is nine inches. Let's work through this. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply the 3.14 and the 9. I just need to get h by itself. That's the goal. 3.14 times 9 is going to give me 28.26 r squared. Okay, then just like last time, I need to divide out this coefficient and divide by 20 or 28.26 on both sides. I have 70, 750 divided by 28.26 is 26.5. And that gives me R squared. Now, I'm not done here, though. I stopped at this point for question number one because I had H. H was equal to 4.8, and I was done. But when I divide here, I'm left with R squared. I don't want R squared. I want R. So remember, the last, last thing we need to do to undo a square we just take the square root. So I need to take the square root of 26.5, and that gives me a final answer of 5.1. 5.1, rounded to the nearest tenth, 5.1 inches.